Today was the last day to register to vote for the primary here in Massachusetts, and early voting kicked off at several polling places around the state. But the controversy over the post office is still front and center. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. Voters were busy on Saturday casting ballots in the state's primary election at early voting locations across the state. Congressman Joe Kennedy cast his ballot in Newton. He's in a closely watched race against incumbent and fellow Democrat Senator Ed Markey. After voting, Kennedy talked about President Donald Trump's efforts to suppress voter turnout. We've come into unexpected challenges with the actions of this president trying to um, basically put up roadblocks that are unneeded and unnecessary and trying to undermine the, the confidence of our voting system. Um, so to have this additional week um, of voting in person and then obviously rolling up to Election Day, I think, is critical. Donald Trump has declared war on the Postal Service. At a mail-in rally in Newton, Senator Ed Markey also blasted Trump for causing voter confusion. Donald Trump has a plan with Louis DeJoy, and it's to put a cloud over this election. This is about, it's about voter suppression. At the State House, voters came together to show their support for the Postal Service by mailing in petition letters to the Board of Governors for the Post Office. Who thought we would ever be this dependent on the post office to cast our votes with mail-in ballots? There are more than 700 of these smaller post office rallies taking place across the country. They're limiting here to 30 to honor social distancing. And with early voting now underway, they say now is the time to let their voices be heard and, in their own words, save the post office. It is under attack. I think this is the wrong time to be... Uh, making these changes, you know, when we're in the middle of a pandemic. Early voting will continue through Friday. The primaries on September 1st. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.